mga kababayan ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. everyone and welcome to the Field Oil Eco Oil Center here in San Juan. The SGA CSB Blazers, the young guns survived against the tough and greedy JT Bulacan Taipan the other night in a do or die game. San Juan Kings go for goal. The number two team demolished the Cam Norte Warriors in the first round of the playoffs. This is the Super 8 of the PSL President's Cup 2024. The San Juan Kings will take on the SGA CSB Blazers. Hello, everybody, with Noi Africa here. My name is Sandy Grumo, and Daniel LaGuardia will join us later at the side. And uh, good evening to you, Noi. This is the Super 8. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, you know, good evening to everyone, first of all. But, of course, uh, this is going to be a matchup between the number two seed and the number seven seed. Usually, uh, you'd think that heavy underdogs uh, are the seven seed, but uh, this SJ squad actually match up uh, very well with the San Juan Kings. However, one distinct advantage for San Juan is the experience. So let's see how SJ uh, you know, responds to this pressure of this very big game. Joining us right now is uh, Daniel LaGuardia. How are you doing? Uh, well, how are you, uh, Ms. Daniel? Good evening, Sandy. You know, you know, I'm very much excited and also curious on how this game will turn out, seeing that both teams are also very excited to head each each other. And uh, my question uh, will be, uh, this duo did not play in the game versus JT Bulacan Taipan. I'm talking about Alin Liwag and Gab Cometa. Are they going to be playing today or so tonight? For, for SGA Blazers, there's good and bad news. Unfortunately, Alin Liwag will still not be suited up for this game. But the good news is Gab Cometa will be back on the court, ready to go against the San Juan Knights. Meanwhile, for the San Juan Knights, all players are present and are in good condition. Well, this is going to be a real tall order for the SJ players having to compete with that San Juan front line, very experienced, very big, very physical, without the presence of an Allen Liwag. So let's see who steps up for SGA. Let's take a look at the uh, playoffs uh, picture here, uh, Noy. Yeah, that's right. And uh, with the win earlier by Davao, we still do not have a team that has advanced to the semifinals. Yeah. But, uh, you know, San Juan with the victory here will proceed to the semifinals. The Blazers looking to extend it to the a rubber match. In the first round, San Juan defeated SGA CSB Blazers. San Juan out the Blazers. Better shooting from the uh, free throw line, and they shared the ball well. Well, that was something that San Juan was able to take advantage of, getting to the free throw line a lot, really playing on their physicality against the SGA CSB Blazers and connecting at a very high rate. The rebounding, of course, they dominated that 42 to 33. 16 offensive rebounds against only just nine for the Blazers. And of course, the ability to share the basketball, that's really one of the hallmarks of the San Juan Kings offense. Well, in the uh, first round of the playoffs, uh, in the uh, Sweet 16, San Juan demolished Cam Norte Warriors. Well, as expected, you know, San Juan just really came out to play, did not dilly-dally, did not play around with the Cam Norte Warriors. And you can see they shot very well from the field, 54%, a very high rate of... Uh, 
Uh, 43% of the three-point area, 17 made threes for the San Juan Kings. And also, aside from the domination from the outside, also in the inside, dominating the paint, 44 to 26. The SJ CSB Blazers went the full distance against JT Bulacan Taipan. Nagdalawang game pa eh, pa ba, para makuha nila yung panalo versus uh, uh, JT Bulacan Taipan. And they needed each and every minute of those uh, two games to be able to advance here in the Super 8. As uh, you can see, they were only able to win over JT Bulacan Taipan by four points. Uh, you know, 43% from the field. 66% from the free throw area. They're going to have to replicate that again in, in this game. Uh, they're really going to have to work very hard on the rebounding end because this San Juan Kings squad really knows how to dominate those boards. And uh, definitely, they're going to be hard-pressed to contend with the physical front line of the San Juan Kings. Again, joining us is Daniel Aguardia. Daniel, what do you have? Coming from a do or die game, SGA coach Paulo Layog has mentioned and pointed out that those are the types of games that they really need to help their players learn and mature more. Kaya naman the past few weeks that they have been playing do or die games, ang mindset lang talaga nila is focus on today. Dahil ang battle kaya nga nila is focus on today, forget about anything else, and just focus on the 40 minutes ahead of them. Sa kabilang ko na naman, team manager Junas Man said that with the quarterfinals, they were very much confident in the first round. But but this time around, nga daw, every game is getting stronger at mahirap na they will just rely on their strength. They must also know their opponents. Kaya wag na natin patagalin pa. Let's see how this game will go. Let me now turn you over to the venue announcer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Fuel Oil Echo Oil Center here in San Juan City. Ito ang 2024 Filipina Super League President's Cup. This is the second round of the playoffs quarterfinals featuring San Juan Kings, Overgold, and SGA CSB Blazers. Now let's meet the starting lineups from your super teams. Beginning with the SGA CSP Blazers. Starting forward number 10, Mark Sanko. Also at forward number 31, Zedric Harke. At center number 13, Paul Turco. Starting guard number 9, Josh Kahuko. Other guard number 72, Gab Cometa. Head coach, Charles Stu. Assisted by Paulo Layu, Gabi Severino, Raiko Tarman, and Ren Riega. SGA CSB Blazers will be led by Paulo Layug. And now let's meet the starting lineups from your San Juan Kings. Starting forward number 18, Ed Boy Mujica. Also on forward number 46, Jobert Soriano. Playing center number two, Michael Kalisan. Starting guard number five, Orlan Huomar. Also at guard number 24, Nico Paniban. San Juan Kings go for gold. will be led by Honorable Senator Chicoy Estrada. Our game officials, Emmanuel Faraon, John Lester Celeste, Alan Maronilla, Jerome Chester Kai. This game is under the supervision and regulation of the game. All right, we are about to start here. The starters for the Kings, Orlan Womar, Nico Panganiban, Michael Kalisan, Eji Mojica, and Jopé Soriano. The Blazers will start with Cahuco, Cometa, Turco, Sanco, and Harke. And Soriano scoring the first basket here for the San Juan Kings. Go for gold. And the steal by Orlan Womar. No look pass. And Michael Kalisan the finish. And you're seeing San Juan really putting on the efforts early. They're not going to toy around with this SJ Blazers squad. Well, Gabko Meta playing here. The, he did not play in their do or die game versus uh, the JT Bulacan Taipan because of back injury. And he still has that uh, injury. Harke is. No, he will not be fouled, but the ball will stay with 
the uh, CS or SGA CSB Blazers. That's right, and uh, of course, Gab Cometa will not miss this very big game. This is uh, a big game for his squad, and uh, to be able to show leadership for his team will be key for them. Kahuko throwing it in, intercepted by Kalisa. That will be their third turnover. Panganiban into the corner. We go as Wamar launches the three. Like Everybody how? by Mark Sanko. Gabko Meta is ahead, using his left hand to score on the layup. And for the SJ Blazers, they will really need to want to push the pace against uh, this much bigger San Juan King squad. Although San Juan can also uh, run with them in transition, but uh, they're going to have to gamble and uh, increase the pace of this game. Soriano starting for the first time for the San Juan Kings here in the PSL President's Cup. By the way, we welcome you all. This is the Super 8. In our PSL President's Cup 2024, Panganiba throws up an air ball and it's a 24 second shot clock violation. For the SJA Blazers, everything will really need to start on the defensive end. They will need to contend with the physicality of this San Juan squad for them to make a ball game out of this. Gab Kometa. Mark Sanko. Intercepted another turnover again for for the uh, Blazers. Michael Kalisan, his second fake. He overcooks. Picked up by Soriano. Wamar is free. He will give it to Michael. Uh, that's uh, Michael Kalisan who throws the ball away. Kalisan probably was expecting Orlan Wamar to take that shot. Uh, we did see Wamar really start aggressively in this ballgame. As you see, the, the good senator uh, coach of the San Juan Kings. Sanko with the extra pass to Paul Turco. Into the corner, we go for three. Harke, Zedrik Harke from downtown. And uh, that's really the problem in trying to defend the SJA Blazers. Their big skin shoot from the outside. That versatility has become a problem for most teams. You know, during our uh, pre-production, Wamaro well, score there. And yeah, that basket will count. Uh, we discussed of how to pronounce the uh, <laughs> the family name of Zenrik Harke. Is it Jarke or Harke? Well, apparently it's Harke. So, but you see right there, Erlen Romar continuing to be aggressive on the offensive end, not really just uh, uh, you know relying on his playmaking. At this point, he will create shots for his teammates due to his aggressiveness on the offensive end. Orlan Wamar from uh, Talisay City completes the three-point play, giving San Juan a two-point lead here in the first quarter. And Wamar committing a foul because he's very aggressive. Sometimes he commits a lot of foul, especially in the, uh, in the first quarter. Well, that's really how he plays, as you see Ancheta checking in early for Gab Cometa. A quick adjustment for the uh, SGA Blazers. Paul Turco, Jumel Ancheta played big in their last game versus JT Bulacan Taipan. Turco, their retrieval in outside to Kahukum. Now there's the double team. Shot clock at two. Ancheta creating space. It hit the rim and rebounded by Nico Panganiban. Panganiban goes all the way. Rebounded by Paul Turco. Kahukum with a strong move and a strong finish. Tying this ball game at 7-all. Well, good things will happen for the Blazers when they push the tempo. You see San Juan also trying to push the tempo, but uh, I think the strength of San Juan is when everything slows down and uh, they rely on their half-court offense. Orlan Wamar shooting over Mark Sanko. That's a three-pointer. You know, when you're playing Orlan Wamar, you take the good with the bad it looked like a bad shot but when it went in really looked good and Saka will try to answer back to no avail here come the kings foul is called on uh, joshua oh that's jomela that's joshua kahukum his first personal and that will be the second team foul you see there uh leaving the defense of uh Sanko right there, you know, Sanko can defend the perimeter, but that's just uh, a dance that's too hard to do with Orlan Womar. 
Michael Kalisaan, wide open oh. is Orlando Omar. The defense caught sleeping that time. You cannot afford to do that against the San Juan Kings. Easy two points for Orlando Omar already with eight points. SJ CSB Blazers, number eight. And coming into the uh, Super 8, while the San Juan Kings, they're number two, coming into the uh, Super 8. Soriano short on the reverse. Mark Sanko, the layup, and Cheta will score and thought he was fouled. And a lot of success for SJ whenever they attack before the San Juan Kings defense gets set up. Mojica. Yes. Using the glass. And another one of those surprise starters for San Juan, Mojica, and of course Soriano. And you see what uh, Mojica can bring to the table. Soriano keeping an eye on Sanko. And the ball goes. To the uh, San Juan Kings go for gold. Arvin Gamboa sees action here. And uh, Michael Mara will see action for the SJ CSB Blazers. A turnover story here. The SJ Blazers with five turnovers already here in the first quarter. And they cannot afford to do that. Those uh, little mistakes against this experienced San Juan squad. Arvin misses on the shot. Picked up by Nico Panganiban. Corner shot. That's good. That's the second for Orlan Omar from downtown. That's already 11 points for Orlan Omar, the first player in double digits for both teams. Orlan Omar scoring for the uh, San Juan Kings go for gold. Very hot here early in the first quarter. Ancheta, Joshua, he swings it to Harke for three. The same spot, but different result. Inside to Michael. Yes. And if your SJ do not want to see the bigs of San Juan being able to outrun you in transition. And so far, the San Juan Kings go for gold, sharing the ball well. They are running in transition and scoring in transition also. And it's a 10-point lead for the Kings. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. We are back here. That's Orlan Omar. He is uh, he is number four in scoring for the San Juan Kings. Go for gold, averaging eight points a game. Now he has 11 points. Almost perfect from the line. Four out of five shooting here in the first period, Noy. Well, in the last five games, he's really stepped up on the offensive end. He's averaging 11 points, which he has already matched in the first six minutes of this ball game. By the way, Antonio Sebio, a prize recruit for uh, the Blazers in the game right now with 3.41 to go. Mara scores from downtown. So that could be an added bonus because you know Michael Mara is there for, to, to provide some physicality underneath. And uh, whenever he gets points, always a bonus. Orlan Womar, Arvin Gamboa, Michael Kalisa, Nico Panganiban, Ejiboy Mojica for the San Juan Kings. Back to Orlan Womar. He glances at the uh, shot clock. Michael from the outside. Not as... Not his comfort zone, but he can score. Yeah, that's right. And he was wide open on that pick and pop. And uh, SJ miscommunicating there. Intercepted again. Another turnover by the Blazers. As Nico with a gorgeous move inside. And you can see the San Juan Kings already turning on the Jets here. Nico Panganiban 
scoring his first two points of the ball game. And the Kings shooting 57% from the field here in the quarter. Jumel Ancheta. Alisaan guarding Michael Mara. Eusebio from the corner for three. Eusebio did break out in the, that elimination game versus uh, the JT Bulacan type. And he's finishing with 19 points, 8 rebounds on 4 out of 8 shooting from the 3-point area. The San Juan Kings in their last five games, they've won four times and lost to the Davao Occidental Tigers last Feb 29, 75 to 73. In their last assignment, they demolished the Camp Norte Warriors 122 to 81. That was March 19 last week in the uh, in the first round of the playoffs. And AC Soberano is in the game now for the San Juan Kings go for gold. Also, Zach, uh, Zaki Wang. And of course, Dexter Maikes also yeah. checking in. Eusebio, it rattles out, rebounded by AC Soberano. AC outside for two, that's good, his first two points of the game. AC Soberano is the number one scorer for the San Juan Kings go for gold. He averaged almost 11 points a game. And also shooting 55% from the three-point area is... Another turnover for the Blazers. And it's killing them here in the first period, Noy. Well, so far, it's uh, unraveling for them, but uh, you can see right there, uh, AC Soberano, a very important weapon for any spot-up shooter, that one dribble pull-up, creating enough separation for that open J. That is turnover number seven for the SGA CSB Blazers. Taiwan is in the game. AC. My kiss is fouled by Antonio Serbio. Right now, the San Juan Kings really relying on their execution. As you see, Coach uh, Gabi Severino right there for the SJA Blazers. Now, calling the shots for them is uh, Gabi Severino. In their previous games, it was uh, Paulo Laig. And of course, also. Now my question is is it confusing or not? Is it helpful or not? Uh, I wouldn't think so, uh, because uh, the thing is, this is a school-based squad. Yeah. So, you know, the hierarchy of authority, uh, you know, everyone is an authority for them. And, uh, of course, you also see on the bench, you've got uh, consultants, uh, uh, Charles True and the legendary Raiko Toroman. Yeah. So, you know, just that wealth of experience that they can share to this very young squad. And maybe probably train your coaches so that if they will call a technical yeah. foul on you and uh, maybe... If, uh, if there's a disqualification foul that uh, the league will throw you out of the game, then there's the assistant coach mm -hmm. to handle the job. 25 to 15, a 10 point lead for S uh, for the San Juan Kings go for goal. The drive inside by Antonio Sebio, but he step, step out of bounds. And do like how even when he stepped out of bounds as he continued uh, to try to get to the basket, Dexter Mike is not having any of it. Let's take a look at this replay here. Antonio Sebi attacking the baseline. Yeah, he did step outside and <laughs> right before there the contact. The, right there at the rim, Dexter Mikez. Less than a minute remaining. Taiwan crossing the timeline. Zaki Wong feeling his defender from behind. Beautiful fake. And he will miss the shot downstairs on Dua the rebound. Jumel Ancheta guarded by Taiwan. The screen by Mara. Mara. Ball deflected out of bounds. And it's still a 10 point lead for the San Juan Kings. Go for gold. Defensive intensity for San Juan still in there. Let's see if they can maintain this for the full 40 minutes. Shot clock at seven. Ancheta falling away for two, rebounded by Arvin, Tolim, uh, Arvin Gamboa. Taiwan. Good spin move. He comes up short. He draws the foul. And that was actually a good spin move, except the fact that he spun into the defense. Uh, but the SGA Blazers had the foul to give, but uh, unfortunately, they give it 
uh, in the shooting motion for Gamboa, two shots. Well, Arvin uh, Gamboa is a late addition to the team. And that's so far been averaging four points, three rebounds. And is a tough player, a good uh, post up uh, or post uh, defender. He's very big also, Noy. Matthew Ollie comes in with 10 seconds to go, and Ian Torres, two big scorers for uh, the Blazers coming in. They were the heroes, two of the heroes in that game against uh, JT Bulacan Taipan to get here. Nathan Victoria also back in the, uh, in the game for the first time. Five seconds, Ian Torres outside to Nathan. The extra pass, Ollie for three. Air ball. Well, that was too much to ask for someone coming off the bench right there as Oli will miss. And this quarter comes to an end with the San Juan Kings ahead by 11 points, 26-15. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, Live at IBC 13. The PSL president, Chris Bautista. And tomorrow, by the way, is his birthday. Well, very advanced happy birthday to our president, Commissioner Chris Bautista. As you see, the first game result, Davao extending that series to a rubber match, a win, 90 to 86. Best player of that game, Theo Flores, coming off the bench, yep. finishing with 14 points. All right, uh, PSL fans here inside the uh, Phil Oil Eco Oil Center here in the city of San Juan. Second quarter action here. Let's take a look at the numbers uh, back in the uh, first quarter. Noise. You see San Juan shooting very well from the field, a very high 61%. Uh, it took SJ 50%, but uh, they had five less field goals against San Juan, and that's why San Juan is uh, ahead by 10. Nice play there by the Blazers scoring to cut down the lead to 10 points. Taiwan, Gamboa, Wang, AC Soberano, and Dexter Maikes for the Kings. Arvin Gamboa with a penetration for two. He misses, rebounded by Maikes. He is fouled, by the way. Since you are here, Mr. Noy Africa, Marvin Taiwan is playing. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. But uh, yet again, those offensive rebounds starting to become a problem for SJ. In their first meeting, they gave up 16 uh, offensive rebounds to San Juan, 17 second chance points. They cannot afford to do that again in this game. Well, if you talk about the bench scoring here in the first half, uh, SJ outscoring the Kings 8-4. to four. But in their first meeting, <laughs> the uh, yeah, in their first meeting, the Kings uh, outscored the bench of SJ 57 to 47. When we always been talking about the depth of this uh, San Juan uh, roster, but you know SJ also has a lot of uh, weapons. You know, Ondo, uh, I Torres. Uh, and Oli only checked in late in the first quarter, so there's also some depth on that roster. Oh, Daniel is here. Daniel, what do you have? Coach Paolo Layag of SGA Blazers has mentioned that San Juan Kings earned their standings in this league. Yeah, going into this game, he said that these are the types of games that they look forward to. They joined PSL because they want to compete with the top teams and they play to improve the health of the Coach Paolo, these players need to get all the exposure they can get from good teams and good players. Sandy Anoy. And Ian Torres unable to score there using his left hand. Arvin Gamboa outside to Taiwan and goes out of bounds. 
Well, if you're SJ and you want to test your skills, your talent level, you know, going forward uh, with other leagues that they're joining, this is going to be uh, a great litmus test for them, this uh, matchup against N1. And yeah, the Kings with their fourth turnover here in the first half. Litmus test. What's the meaning of that noise? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just read it earlier on the way here. He had taught us using the window and scores. And you know, Ian Torres has really been stepping up, especially when uh, Gab Cometa is not available and doing just that right here. And the uh, Blazers applying a pressure defense here as Taiwan is blocked by Eusebio. He goes inside. Basket will count, though. He will go to the line. He will try to complete the th uh, three-point play. Well, you do like those uh, kinds of plays for players. Even when he got blocked, did not stop playing, got the basketball, and uh, went in for the layup. And an opportunity for a three-point play for Marwin Taiwan. Very crucial, his role here for San Juan. Because, of course, you have a very solid lead guard in an Orlan Wamar. And then who comes in next? Who backs him up? And so far... Marwin Taiwan has really done a good job here for San Juan in this tournament. Taiwan is number 10 in scoring for the San Juan Kings. Go for gold, averaging six points a game. Ian Torres. Now Antonio Sabio. And he swings it to Nathan Victoria. Ian Torres gets it back from far away. Look at the backs out there by Zaki Wong. And Torres denying the passing lane there. Ball stays with the San Juan Kings, go for gold. You gotta love the motor on this guy, Ian Torres. He missed that shot, fell to the floor, but, but was the first player back to stop that uh, transition attack yeah. for San Juan. Inside, Arvin Gamboa. No problem for Arvin Gamboa. Two points for him. Just way too deep right there, nothing Matthew Oli could do. Antonio Serbio, Nathan Victoria, Ian Torres, Matthew Oli, and Michael Mara for the Blazers. Michael inside, nice feed there by Ian Torres, recognizing Michael Mara in the middle. And that great read right there, and Michael Mara, even against the threes of San Juan, able to score. AC Soberano is yet to score from behind the arc. He has two points though here. Zach Wong in heavy traffic. But now he has four points. But uh, the presence of uh, AC Soberan right there, you know, it's forcing uh, Benil to, sorry, SGA to not leave him open. Well, I'm sorry, that would be the first two points of uh, Zach Wong here in the uh, game. Matthew Oli, catch and shoot for three. And he throws up an air ball. Well, in their last game, it was Matthew Oli who stepped up at the right yeah. time, finishing with 19 points, scoring eight of those in the last three minutes. Some very key baskets in, in that game that you were covering with uh, the professor. Yeah. Thirty-four to twenty-one. AC Soberano, Mike Kess, Morales defending. Taiwan attacking the baseline. Difficult shot there by Marwin Taiwan. It did look like he was way in too deep, but uh, the ability to contort his body, able to finish. 36 to 21. Largest lead of the game, Noi. Wang with a long rebound. You can see San Juan really taking this game seriously. Oh, even, yes. You know, even if they have the twice a beat advantage, they cannot afford a rubber match against this younger squad. Zach Wong, Matthew Oli putting him in a torture chamber. Outside to AC. The number one three-point shooter here in the league misses his first attempt from beyond the arc. Great close out there by Ian Torres. Intercepted by Marwin Taiwan. He will go all the way and will score. You know, we... We have been saying that this is a younger squad, but uh, you know, with the way Marvin Taiwan has been playing, just injecting youthful energy to this King squad. 38 to 21, largest lead of the game, under five minutes to go. Matthew Oli 
attacks using his left hand. Two points for him. Well, after missing two three-pointers badly this time, Matthew Oli putting the ball on the floor, attacking the basket. So the Blazers, they're 10 of 21 from the field here in the first half. By one. Mike S inside. Basket will count. And one. Well, definitely that was uh, Dix Mike S just really muscling his way inside against the defense of Michael Mara. You know, too right. many combinations now being tried by, by the uh, Blazers here. Now Sanko, uh, Jamel Ancheta, Zendrik Harke, Michael Mara in the game. Well, what you like about this SGA squad is the versatility that uh, mm -hmm. they can put on the floor mainly because of the depth of the roster. Uh, let's, you know, not as uh, star-studded as the other teams like San Juan, Binyan, Nueva Ecija, but, you know, the youth and the ability to shuffle players. And, you know, at, at any given time, you get to put players on the court. The uh, Kings outscoring the Blazers. Here the uh, second period, 15 to 10. It goes out of bounds. You see more subs coming in for San Juan. Uh, Jim Miranda and uh, Paulo Hernandez checking in late in the second quarter. So again, yung nga, lalim rin talaga ng bench itong San Juan. Oh, Paulo Hernandez... Uh, A new recruit also for the San Juan Kings go for gold. And Michael Malonzo scoring there. Well, we mentioned uh, uh, Paulo Hernandez. Uh, he used to uh, play from for the Mapua Institute of Technology. Yeah, that's played right. his last year. Yeah, uh, he actually had one more oh, yeah. year of eligibility, but he has already announced that he will forego uh, his final year in college. Michael Mara scoring there for the Blazers, 42 to 25. If the Blazers will lose this game, it's going to be their last game here in the PSL. Zandre Karke backs off, met by John Galinato, Michael Mara. 15 of the 24, Jumel Ancheta is played by Ajim Miranda, the veteran. Mark Sanko inside. Zendrik Harke will score. A great three right there for Sanko finding Harke uh, right there open in underneath the basket. Harke now with five points and Sanko fouled Mike Malonzo. And that's a foul that uh, San Juan can afford to give. That's only their first team foul. Michael Mara will sit down for the Blazers. 42 to 27. The San Juan Kings go for gold ahead here. We'll be right back. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List. C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule. Marketing partners, sir, for Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. <laughs> Senator Coach Gene Goya Stada. Well, you can see the smile on his face because they are ahead here, 42 to 27, uh, Noy. Well, uh, I would have uh, a bigger wow. smile if I had that advantage right there. Uh, but, you know, SGA will keep on coming back tactically, you know, that uh, the brain trust, uh, well, the coaches of uh, the SGA Blazers, are going to expect them to make an adjustment. Two minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the first half. Shot clock at 16 seconds. Ajim Miranda, Jumel Ancheta defending. He goes to the other side for two. It rattles out. 
And Powell scores on the putback and also getting the offensive rebound. And that's only the fifth second chance point for San Juan. But if you're SGA, you cannot allow those uh, multiple possessions for San Juan. Well, the Kings here plus uh, three in rebounding, 14 to 11. Here in the first half, Jarque, shot clock at seven. Serrano with a one-handed shot. Quick pass to Pau Havillonar, met by Zendrik Jarque. Pau will go. He will not score. Here come the Blazers. Ancheta now played by Ajim Miranda. Mark Sanko. Zendrik Jarque. Shot clock at nine. Wide open corner, the three, that's good. Well, Morales pulling the trigger and was able to score from beyond the arc. Late close out there for Pau Habillonar. Outside to John Galinato, he gets by Harke. Malonzo pulled the trigger. Morales the rebound. It's not really the strength of the game of Michael Malonzo. Quick pass inside to Serrano, and he loses control of the ball. But of fingers that time. Ajim, no look pass to Mike Malonzo. He backs off. One minute and 20 seconds remaining in the first half. John with a move inside for two. That was a good defense play there by SJ. Only better offense right there for John Galinato. John Galinato always. Uh, he continues to score coming off the bench. He averaged uh, nine points a game. He's the number three scorer coming off the bench. And Chata nails it down from downtown. And for SJ, the three-pointers should uh, start dropping for them uh, to get back in this ball game. That's their fifth made three as a team. Yeah, and the Blazers showing some signs of life. Here in the first half, 46 to 33. John Galinato. Inside we go. Ajim Miranda scores. Miscommunication inside of the Blazers. Not spotting the off ball movement there. Wide open is Ajim Miranda. Well, that will be their 15 assist here in the first half. You know, in their first game during the elimination round, the San Juan Kings go for gold. Sharing the ball well. Pau Havillonar scoring in transition. With no more time remaining. And this half is in the books. The San Juan Kings showing their might here in the Super 8. Our dumper super move of the game. Here we go. Michael Kalisan giving it to Nico Panganiban with a strong move. Nico Panganiban scoring there in transition. And that's our Dumper Super move of the game brought to us by Dumper Party List. 50-33, back in a moment. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, Live at IBC 13. Ito po ay si Aludo Rota Chuseco, Undersecretary of the Department of Finance, na ay po kayong anyayahan na manood ng Cabinet at Work at IBC every Monday at 4 p.m. Please watch Cabinet at Work uh, every Monday at 4 p.m. IBC 13. Magandang araw po. Gusto po namin kayo ananyahan na manood ng Cabinet at Work. Ito po ang bagong programa ng IBC 13. At dito po natin makikita ang mga proyekto at mga nagagawa ng bagong ehensa dito po sa pamumunuan ni uh, Presidente Marcos. Sana po makita namin kayo doon. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Joel Consing, Presidente po ng Mahalika. Salamat po.
bawat sulok ng Pilipinas, maging sa ibayong dagat, hindi titigil sa pagpapahayag ng impormasyong totoo at tama. Maaasahan at mapagkakatiwalaan. Tutok 13 mula lunes hanggang biyernes alas 5 ng hapon hanggang alas 6 ng gabi dito sa IBC 13. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentlemen's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. Mga Kaliga, we have a very special guest yet here again at the halftime. I have here with me our birthday boy, na si President Chris Bautista. So President, since everybody is curious, ilang taon ka na ba bukas? Uh, 30 plus. Very young din naman talaga ang ating PSL president. And with that, of course, it's a special day for you. Ano po ba ang mga plans natin for tomorrow? And also, how will you celebrate your birthday? Uh, wala naman na bago, no? Ever since naman, uh, yung ginagawa ko every, every birthday ko, yung panata ko, yung tradisyon na uh, celebrate ko yung birthday ko, sineshare ko yung blessings ko sa mga... Lolo and Lola natin, yung Boys Town, sa Girls Town, ito yung sa Home for the Aged, ito yung sa Luwalhati ng uh, Maynila. Well, there you have it. Kitang-kita rin naman talaga ang puso ng ating presidente na si Chris Bautista. And with that, everybody, please greet him. A happy birthday tomorrow. And Coach, I hope you enjoy your birthday tomorrow. And there you have it. Do not go anywhere. Stay tuned and let's see how the rest of the game will go. But with that, tigan muna natin. Ano pa ba ang meron kay Chris Bautista? Uh, of course, yung sa charity ko tomorrow, uh, gusto ko lang batiin lahat ng tumulong sa ano no sa ginawa kong, uh, ginagawa kong every year na tradition. Uh, this year, ano to eh, inopen ko lang for parang involve ko lahat. Dati kasi hindi ko naman siya pinopost or hindi ako nag uh, nag uh, ano nag nag to nag invite sa mga sa mga friends ko na gusto ng tumulong. Ininvolve ko before mga players ko. Pero this time Nung uh, pinost ko to sa Facebook, mga, mga, yung mga dating mga tumutulong sa amin, kasama ko, lahat sila ngayon uh, na willing na tumulong. Pas gusto ko lang silang pasal pasalamatan lahat, especially mga friends ko. No? Uh, hindi ko na isa-isahin, pero uh, itong uh, my, fa my, my PSL family, uh, kay uh, Kong Claude Bautista, Mr. Bong Baribar, uh, Mr. Otep Ronquillo, uh, itong uh, team namin, uh, team ng ano, ng, uh, ito, sa, sa team namin dito, Kaloocan Supremos, maraming salamat kong uh, ako ka, uh, strong group athletics of Mr. Frank Lau and uh, Jacob Lau. Congratulations ka pala for winning two championships in one day. Uh, Mr. Hills Landanan, Coach Mark Pitero, Rudel Romero and family, LNJ Spa family, uh, Eric and Paola Vitangkol, Tina Chu, Nuts Production, Ma'am uh, Vice Binyola, Mr. Vien Orillo, Coach Weng Adina, Uh, yung MIST Batch A3. Uh, of course, my uh, Carlos families of uh, Sir Harold and uh, Ma'am Laika. And syempre, higit sa lahat, ang aking loved ones, ang aking pamilya. Uh, laging nasa likod, nasa likod sila sa lahat ng aking tagumpay. Again, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat na nagbigay ng, ano, ng, uh, ng tulong sa mga, mga diapers, groceries, uh, bigas. Tomorrow po, yung mga kaibigan ko na gusto nung tumulong, magpakain, magpapakain po tayo sa Home for the Aged, sa mga lolo-lolas. Andun po ako, samahan niyo po ako, tulungan niyo po ako magpakain po sa kanila. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you so much, President Chris Bautista. We are very proud to have you as our president, especially with your heart that is very much a giving. And I hope you enjoy your birthday tomorrow with those people who are in the Kaya naman, huwag na natin patagalan pa. Let's see how the rest of the game will go. Hey, Hoop fans, welcome to the President's Cup 2024.
Top 10 Plays of the Week. Let's dive straight into the action, starting with number 10. Estrada dancing for freedom with two seconds to go! Ho -ho! Intercepted by Pablo Raimundo. At number 9. <laughs> Whoa, oh, what a drive there! Wow. Nice move! It's the weird part of the highlight. Andales. Mahirap yung duo na yun, na? Para cross against by Andales. Top 8. 105, 102. Six minutes ago here in the fourth. Lakas de Santos, the spin! Oh, the English on that shot! Lucas de Santos swirling and twirling there. Oh. Making it on seven. Oh boy, taken away by Ryan Costello. Kelly Nabo. With a penetration, it draws it up, and yes, basketball count and one. Funny how he was trying to sidestep out of the way of uh, Alvin Baikyong, but the white body of Baikyong created. Uh, that contact right there. You know, I asked you about the, well, we were talking about the size of Mike Chong. He's a tough defender downstairs. He's an immovable force, by the way. Sliding into number six. He's a big open look. Ooh, the Pinoy you. step. Coming to the and boy, Estrella. Pati tayo, napikihan eh. First. Field goal for the former Mapua Cardinal. Through at number five. Here you're passing, red win. Another opportunity. Baka is switching Whoa. hands in mid-air. What a shot. Napakahirap mo, partner. Oo naman. Napabilik to look. Si Coach Melo Navarro. Oo, napitin niya nung palang ganun ko. Cracking into the top four. Cafera with a slam. Champagne, a pasigao. Walang iba kundi the Sandman, Sandy Groom. Favorite, the most handsome man from Cebu, Sandy Groom. Podium time at number three. Kanan, not chip in in this type of matchup. Very close. Ooh. Sabi ko, chipin lang naman. Sandagon with another slam a He was foiled earlier, this time making sure two hands for safety. Watch your head, Samad Sandagon. Chipin lang tayo dito. Tignan tayo ginugulat ni Samad Sandagon. At number two. 3.3 to go. So watch out for Maki Acosta here on that pin down screen. Three seconds for the win. Good line. Oh! Thank you. We will not go to overtime. Pero may point two pa tayo dito. Hindi pa tutapos. Kaya lang yung walang timeout. Ay, layo. Malayo. And the top play of the week. What a look. Ravera. Oh! The reverse jump! I was expecting a layup. Rudel Ravera may galit sa ring. Great pass by Alvin Abundo and Ravera. That's a wrap for our top 10 plays of the week. Stay tuned for more basketball brilliance. And until next time, keep the hoop spirit alive. Welcome back to the uh, Phil Oil Eco Oil Center. The uh, San Juan Kings go for gold 50-33. That's the same score back in the elimination round when uh, San Juan Kings defeated SJCSB. The score was 50-33 also. Yeah, that's right. And for SJA, they cannot keep uh, doing the same things in this game if they want to pull up a victory. <laughs> and definitely a lot of adjustments to be made here for SGA. So let's take a look at the... Uh, uh, the highlights, some highlights back in the uh, first half here, Noy. Well, the thing for SJ, you're going to see a lot of highlights for both teams, and that's well, exactly... Bench scoring, by the way. That's exactly going to be the problem here for SJ. It's their defense 
as uh, the San Juan, San Juan Kings have been shooting a very high clip for this ball game. 61%, that's way too high. Uh, SGA, 50%, meaning, you know, usually in a game that's going to be enough for you to pull off a victory. But if you're allowing your opponents to score at will, that's going to be a problem for SGA. Now we have the numbers here. Noy. As I was saying, uh, you can see right there, 50% for SGA. San Juan King, 61%. Another problem for SGA, they haven't been able to go to the free throw line because of the defensive intensity of uh, San Juan has really just been high without even fouling. And you're seeing the turnover stories, another problem. 10 turnovers for SGA. And uh, points in the paint, just total domination for the San Juan Kings, 34 to 16. And the highlights of the leading scorers in the uh, first half, uh, Orland will mark top scoring for the team, by the way, where the San Juan Kings go for gold. And of course, Orlan Wamar really just started aggressively in this game, just looking for his shot. And, uh, you know, he scored all of his 11 points in the first quarter, has not returned since uh, in the second quarter, has not been needed to come back. But uh, for the side of SJ, a surprise uh, performer here, uh, Michael Mara coming off the bench, producing nine points, trying to fill in the big shoes of Alan Liwag. Of course, Ancheta Harke with five each, Eusebio with three. Well, for the San Juan Kings, of course, uh, th these two have been really their leaders. Orlan Romar with 11, Kalisan with 6, Marvin Taiwan. Very uh, good job uh, subbing in for Orlan Romar, providing six points of his own. And Pau Habillonar uh, did score the last points there in the first half already with four points. Starting here in the third period for the San Juan Kings, go for gold. Ajim Miranda, Pau Habillonar, Michael Balonzo. Pa, uh, and uh, John Galinato. This is the same five that they ended the first half with. This is, uh, you know, some of their younger guys on the team. Mirando with a beautiful spin goes down hard. And Zenrik Harke takes care of it. Joining Harke there on the floor, Mark Sanko, Jamel Ancheta, uh, Paul Turco inside he is fouled. And Antonio Sebio. So this is a tall lineup for, for uh, the Blazers. And uh, you can see there, you can really a lot of switchability, yeah. especially on the defensive end, as you see uh, a foul there by My Michael Malonzo hitting Turco uh, down low, but a uh, monster block up top. So Paul Turco at the line. Did that score in the first half, three rebounds and two assists. Well, that's what he's there for to provide some physicality and athleticism uh, at the four or the five spot just uh, really doesn't need plays called for him but uh, always very effective whenever he gets the ball down low he averages six points a game he is the number eight scorer for the SJCSB Blazers and he is number one in rebounding for the team averaging uh, seven rebounds a game here in the PSL President's Cup 2024. John Galinato, played by Zenric Harke. He will go inside and he overcooks. And the putback by Pau Havelianar, flexing his muscle there. They did have that basket to the attack by Galinato, attracting the defense, allowing Havelianar to sneak in for that putback. My name is Sandy Grumo with uh, uh, Noi Africa, Daniel LaGuardia, third member of the panel. Shot clock at five. There's the double team from the top. Outside we go for three. And Pau takes care of it. And, uh, Isebio, after hitting his first three, has now missed his last two. Hernandez will attack. John Galinato played by Jamel Ancheta. The screen provided by Pau Havillonar. Taken away by Mark Sanko. Recovered by Jumel Ancheta. Blocked there by Michael Malonzo. And this is a five for San Juan that can match the speed of yeah. uh, the SGA Blazers. That time Malonzo able to make that stop on that Ancheta drive. See right there, right up top, swatting it away. You know, it's very hard to make that basket. I'm talking about the shot of Jumel Ancheta because there was... Uh, uh, two uh, white shirts defending him, and the three won't work. Picked up by Michael Malonzo. He sees pace. He kicks it out. 
taken away by Jamel Ancheta. Three on one situation, and he comes up short, rebutted by Paulo Hernandez. John pulled the trigger. Foul is on Jamel Ancheta. Well, a lot of action so far in the first two minutes of the second half, but not much scoring, just uh, each team scoring two, paint, two points each. Well, a fast-paced start of the third period. And you mentioned earlier, both teams score only two points. 52 to 35 is the count. We ended the half 50-33, uh, the same score in their first meeting in the elimination round. As Powell will go inside, rebounded by Mark Sanko. Met by Miranda. Taken away by Mike Malonzo. John Galinato with a bounce pass and Miranda with a finish. It's surprising. Nice play. Surprisingly, it's someone with a lead in fast break points. That's already 15 for them against the six for the Blazers. 54 to 35. And Mark Sanko is fouled on his way to the basket. That's so two free throws for him. It's definitely a necessary skill for Mark Sanko to develop, putting the ball on the floor. He has a very sweet shot from the outside. And, uh, you know, usually he gets his baskets. Uh, you know, he doesn't have to manufacture shots. But uh, moving forward with that length that he has and the versatility, that would be a welcome uh, weapon for him, as you see, coach, uh, consultant, coach Charles Chu, together with uh, Paulo Layo, who was uh, manning that bench for them in the eliminations. But uh, right now, the head coach is uh, coach Gabi Severino. Now we'll turn you over to Daniel LaGuardia. Daniel. Michael Calasan of San Juan Kings mentioned that they cannot underestimate these SGA Blazers just because they are younger than them. Sabi nga ni Michael, nag-practice a lot, nag-practice din ang kabilang team. It goes both ways that both teams are prepared to give their all today. On the other hand, assistant coach JC Collier of SGA mentioned that San Juan Kings has four fast break points. Kaya he pointed out that they have younger players. Kaya their players have to be running more. Coach JC also mentioned that the players aren't aggressive enough. Pero sabi nga ni Coach JC, they know they are tougher than that and they know they can compete against. Thank you very much, Daniel. We saw a relaxed center coach, Jingoy Estrada. Mark Sanko will score. Basketball count. In the elimination round, the uh, San Juan Kings registered a 24-point lead versus the SGA CSB Blazers. The score now is 57-39. Do the math, uh, Noy. <laughs> That's 18 points, Sandy. All right. <laughs> but, I okay. love you very much. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Uh, Senator Jingoy really able to relax due to the mentality that the, the, his kings have brought in this game. They've really not underestimated this Blazers, as you see, Miranda spinning right there to the rim. It's a 20-point lead now for the Kings of San Juan. Jomel outside for three. Kahukom pulling the trigger. That was a wide open shot for Kahukom. Those threes not falling for the Blazers. Hernandez picked up by Michael Malonzo. The Kings with three team fouls. The Blazers with three more fouls to give as John will try to score and he does. He's been trying that three-pointer for some plays now, but uh, that's really the bread and butter of the game of John Galinato, that mid-range uh, pull-up jumper. 61-39, to 39, the San Juan Kings outscoring the Blazers again. Ancheta, that's Kahuko, by the way. Antonio Sevier from far away, and he gets it from downtown. That's a good read there by Turco. Could have uh, gone up for the shot. Finding Gisebio open for that three. Mark Sanko guarding. Uh, Paulo Hernandez, 10 seconds to shoot. Now it's seven. Now it's five. Mike Malonzo goes inside. The penetration is good. Oh. 
Jomel Ancheta. And uh, Ajim Miranda with some uh, uh, pleasantries going on down there. And some uh, developing color there, but uh, good thing that cooler. They're exchanging heads calling in. cards. <laughs> Well, March is fire month, and uh, these two players are heating up against each other. And uh, they'll get the T. Really like how Ancheta, not backing down, did not even flinch. Well, that's Ajim Miranda on your screen. That was a good call there by the referees. Yeah. Two quick uh, double texts just to pacify things. And the uh, officials reviewing of what transpired a moment ago as the Kings of San Juan in total control of this game. Noi. That's right, but uh, you know, there's nothing really untoward going on there. Just, uh, you know, some playoff bumps here and there as expected. It's a big game and you don't expect uh, the players here to be, you know, to react on those Nah, I don't think uh, there's anything. Uh, at best, I guess uh, they can uh, call a text, which they already did for second motion. But uh, let's see what the referees decide if they see. Uh, both players caught up in the heat of the moment. And that's all I can say. Oh. That's it. This is the Super 8. This is the playoffs. Expect the emotions. Is expect the physicality. Yeah, and uh, if you're San Juan, definitely that's the one thing that will be to your advantage. That's the thing that you want to uh, begin with against this younger squad. Try to see how they respond to the physicality, but you know, just make sure it's within uh, the bounds of the rules. You know, sometimes the, the players don't like the long reviews because it will take mm. out the momentum in them. Yeah, that's right. And uh, for especially for SGA. Uh, well, at least right now, they, they get to talk with their coaches. And sometimes some players will say, come on, let's play. Mm -hmm. Enough of that. But of course, the review system is there for, you know, uh, to make sure we get the right calls. So the official saying to us that it's a double foul, then a technical foul on San Juan. So yung, uh, the, uh, the double technical foul will be canceled mm -hmm. upon review. Upon review. It's going to be the second personal on uh, Jamel Ancheta and also the second on Ajim Miranda. Well, I guess we didn't really see a hit above the shoulder. That's mm -hmm. why it didn't merit an unsportsmanlike foul. Uh, but uh, the referees did rescind that technical foul that they called on Jamel Ancheta upon review. With 4.55 to go, this is getting interesting, by the way. And the SJ contesting the call again. Are they going to challenge it? That's uh, Senator Jingoy Estrada coming into the playoffs. They are the uh, number two team here in the PSL President's Cup 2024. Antonio Sebi will, will take the technical free throw here. And he will miss. Alice back in the game for uh, Antonio Sebio. Michael Mara will replace uh, Paul Turco. Also, if you're at Jim Miranda, you need to keep a cool head because, you know, you don't want to be thrown out and be suspended for further games, especially if they uh, maintain this huge lead right there where if they well, advance earlier, it to the semifinals. In our first game, the Devil Occidental Tigers defeated the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Justin Sanchez was thrown out of the game. 
So is he, is he going to be playing this coming Monday? In their do or die game versus Nueva Ecija, by the way. And that is a question that, that will be answered by Mr. Farley Aguila, oh, yeah. the uh, <laughs> basketball operations chief. Who always brings with him an Apache case outside for three. No. And Mark Sanko, the retrieval. Ball stays with the uh, Blazers. Shot clock at eight seconds. And we're seeing SJ now playing with a little more energy, a little more urgency. Maybe that lull uh, uh, could be a turning point for them. It could be. Shot clock at four. John Galinato rises up to get the rebound. He brings it down. The Kings in ball possession. Ajim Miranda, Ian Torres defending. He will go inside and and Morales takes care of it. Ian Torres with the bounce pass to Sanko. Back to Torres. Cajuco asking for a screen. Morales providing it. Mara is fouled inside. And some of the players of uh, the Blazers seem a little tentative and it's really just been uh, Michael Mara who's been willing to bang bodies inside. So far, he is leading his team in scoring with nine points. Well, coming back here in the game, Orlando Omar, who did not see action in the second uh, uh, quarter. He top scored for San Juan in the first uh, in the first half, scoring all his points in the first period. You know, that uh, quick start by San Juan so far has been the question that they're uh, using. It's still up by 21 points. <laughs> They mistaken as always as the table officials. The numbers of Michael Mara. Nine points, three rebounds, two assists coming off the bench. Uh, you know, pretty much just trying to step into the shoes of Alan Liwag, who is not available for SGA today. And also Gab Cometa, where, well, he is uh, in uniform, but he, he did start. Yeah, the game. he didn't start and uh, he did not come back. Oh, a wrong substitution there by, by the Blazers. Uh, it was supposed to be Sanko that will be taken out by Roger and Dua. So Michael Mara coming back here for the Blazers. Noi. Yeah, that's right. And uh, Michael Mara, after converting on those free throws, was surprised to be taken out. So was the coaching staff. That's when what you get when you, uh, <laughs> when you ask the wrong table. <laughs> yeah. Michael misfires from the outside. The ball goes back to the Blazers. Well, let's see if uh, how Orlan Womar will produce here after exploding in the first half. Biggest lead for San Juan is 22. While well, SJ for a while had that one point lead. Torres outside to Kahokum, back to Torres. Shot clock at nine. Womar chasing him. The bounce pass to Michael Mara. He sends it to Roger, who goes inside for two. Miscommunication right there for San Juan. Uh, Ondoa uncontested inside. Lamar. Nico. Outside to Mojica. Short on the three attempt. Picked up by Roger Ondoa. And Ondoa is fouled in midair by edge boy Mojica. Well, Ondoa did have bad intentions, but yeah. Mojica just will not allow it. This is the playoffs, no easy two points. Woo. It was all ball, but uh, the elbow of uh, uh, Mojica touched the face of, or hit the face of uh, Roger Ondoa. Well, definitely. Mojica did not want to see himself in a poster tomorrow. Well, by the way, our director for this ball game is Mr. Nori Ui. So he's directing us for the third time. And the numbers of Roger. Seven points, uh, nearly five rebounds per game. And an assist to top that all off. And providing us numbers also are the Deswi brothers and Raya Deswi. 
Are you 63 to 48 to 45 remaining in the third period? Nico. Wamar step back three pointer. Michael the offensive rebound he gets it and he was fouled. Well, that's going to be a tough cover for the young Moel Morales. I don't think. I think he's only like 20 years old, trying to go up <laughs> against a veteran like Michael Calisano. Well, he's 29 years old, right? 29 years old, celebrated his birthday last Feb 27. He's a very strong player that can operate in heavy traffic. And the bench scoring, by the way, of the San Juan Kings here, are, uh, 40 points already. Only 33 points coming off the bench of the uh, SJCSB Blazers. I see so far Michael Calisan in this ball, ball game, six points, a rebound, and make that two rebounds and four assists. You know, the, the, the Blazers outscoring SGA here in the third period. 64-48, two minutes and 20 seconds remaining. Morales inside to Joshua for two. Nice dish by Morales. Better off ball movement right here for SJ down to the lead down to just 14. And 20 assists now for the SJ CSB Blazers. And they cut down the lead to 14 as Tanivan overcooks. Roger. Nice feed, the extra pass. Michael Mata operating inside. And the follow by Morales. The young guns of the SJ Blazers starting to come alive here. Yes. The lead down to just 12. The tough and gritty CSB Blazers scoring there. That's Michael Morales with a putback back in a moment. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. The uh, CSB or the SJ CSB Blazers in their last five games lost uh, twice and won uh, uh, three times March 4 when they defeated the undermanned JT Bulacan Taipan 70-66. They were defeated by the Davao Occidental Tigers and they've won against the Navalichus QC Warriors. Defeated in the first game of the uh, playoffs in the Sweet 16 by the JT Taipan and won the other night against uh, sending uh, Bulacan Taipan in early vacation. Now the Blazers trying to come back here as Wamar pulled the trigger from downtown and he did start out strong in the first quarter to create separation early for San Juan and that three pointer brings the lead back up to 15 one minute and 20 seconds remaining in the third period Both stays with the Blazers shot clock at 6 seconds See right there that wide open three for Orlan Wamar. <laughs> and if you're SJ, if you're gonna mount a rally, the last person that you want to leave unmarked is yeah. Orlan Wamar. So you're gonna have a no, big player scores big time. Oh yes, Senator definitely. Coach Jingoy Estrada talking to the referee. We have a review, a review again. On uh, the last out of bounds play, calling the shots, or uh, that's Nani Pundulan. Yes. By the way, I I haven't seen uh, assistant coach Young Garcia. Well, it's actually the same situation here for 
uh, SGA and uh, San Juan uh, really just you know, Nani, very solid coaching staff that they have. Nani Pundalan is, is the assist, one of the assistant coaches of uh, San Juan Kings. He's been with the team for five years already. And I've covered him uh, in the uh, leagues in Mindanao. If I'm not mistaken, he played here in Manila for college, right? So the challenge is successful. <laughs> Good challenge there by Senator Coach Jingoy Estrada. Well, that action happened right in front of him, and you can just see how well the, the good senator. Uh, it was sees. like uh, an exchange at the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> and Gabko Meta uh, in the game here for the Blazers. Mike is also back in the game. Michael Kalisan working against Roger and Dua. Wamar fakes. That's a bad screen by Soriano. They like the activity being shown here as Kahukom fighting through that screen, able to force a foul. 53 ticks remaining. And the third, 67 to 52. We are glad that you could join us this is the super eight of the filipina super league president's cup 2024 kahuko cross it up rebounded by Mikes. wamar from far away panganiban with the offensive rebound and he misses kahuko side steps and will score Good effort there by Orlan Romar trying to stop Kahukom, but Kahukom using his body to protect the basketball. We started with 19 teams, down to 16, now down to 8. The start of the Final Four will, 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 will be next uh, week before we'll take a break. And the steal by Kahukom. He's looking at the clock, and he will score with no more time remaining. Nice shot there by Joshua Kahukom cutting down the lead to nine from a high of 21. Coaching staff was begging for them to use the one th team foul that they needed that they could give, but Joshua Kahukom able to get that steal. Cuts the lead down to just 11 points. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist. C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentlemen's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf. Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. Our uh, face of the game, Marianne Anchetta, and it's sponsored by Erase Beauty Care. She will get uh, the products from Erase Beauty Care. That's our face of the game, Marianne Anchetta. Well, I'm so, wondering if uh, there's any relation to Jomel Ancheta of uh, SGA. Maybe we will ask our FD, <laughs> the heart sign there. So, fourth quarter is about to start here inside the Phil Oil Eco Oil Center in San Juan with Noy Africa, Daniel LaGuardia, our court show reporter. My name is Sandy Grumo. Uh, we have the numbers here, Noy. And uh, really. A great fight back there for SGA, uh, outscoring the San Juan Kings 23 to 17 in the third quarter. Yep, and a uh, better defense uh, kind of pulled down the field goal percentage of uh, San Juan from 61 percent at the half to just 52 percent right now. But uh, they're gonna need a lot more defensive effort, a lot more energy. Yes. Uh, here in the fourth quarter. B better defense, better ball movement for for the Blazers. Moel Morales misfires. Roger and Dua, the offensive rebound. 
Paul Turco, he swings it to Gab Cometa. Morales misses. Nico Panganiban loses control. Maikes loses control also. And the ball will stay with the San Juan Kings go for gold. And the, the Blazers will challenge that call. We'll definitely in unison. Uh, the Blazers asking for a review right there. Now we mentioned the sharing of the ball by the SJCSB Blazers in this game. They are plus one. And the challenge by the uh, Blazers to that call by the officials. Down by only 11 points. They were down by as many as 22. Yes, the challenge is successful. That was the right call as uh, my guess just bubbled the basketball. A good challenge, a successful one for SGA. An opportunity to cut down uh, this lead to just single digits on this possession. So the uh, coaches here using their uh, coaches' challenge. Successfully, both, both ends. Coaches are successful in their challenge. And no more challenge here. As Gab will miss outside. Battle for the rebound. Gab with the penetration. Here come the Kings. And Panganiban step out of bounds. Definitely a lot more energy from SGA. Yeah, good point there, Noy. They're going to need a lot more. And uh, they have a boundless supply of that with the youth that they have on the bench. As you see the Carter scoring, as you said earlier, the Blazers outscoring the Kings 23 to 17 in the third quarter. That is turnover number 13 for the Blazers. Ball stays with the San Juan Kings go for gold. Well, the San Juan Kings know at this point that they're going to face a very scrappy SJA squad wanting to extend this to a rubber match. The bench of the Kings outscoring the bench of SGA 40-35. Well, Mar pulling the trigger. Another rebound for Paul Turco. He is the number one rebounder for the Blazers as Harke will fly without that basketball taken away by Taiwan. Nico. My kiss. That is his comfort zone. That is going to hurt for SGA. That three pointer from my kiss. You know, Maikes averaged eight points a game. He is number five in scoring for the San Juan Kings. Go for gold. And a collision there between Maikes and Morales. We really like the spirit of uh, this guy, Morales. I believe he's still actually playing in that NBTC tournament uh, ongoing. So that's how young this kid is, but uh, continuing to, you know, uh, mix it up with the big boys. As uh, Dexter Marquez with that three Really big. A <laughs> really big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. And uh, Dexter Marquez in the tournament has really developed that outside shot. He's shooting uh, above 35% from the three-point area. Taiwan brings it down. Kometa defending him. Marquez. Kalisan. Shot clock at 10. AC is back in the game. Kalisan over Cooks. Rebounded by Gab Kometa. You know, something will good, uh, something good will happen if Kometa is in the game for the Blazers. He may not be scoring, but his leadership is proven already. We have a foul. It's on Orlin Wamar, his first personal. Correction, it's his second personal. Zaki Wong back in the game. Now for the Kings, Michael Mata. We'll see action here replacing uh, uh, Paul Turco. Paul Turco playing big here. Two points, five rebounds, and three assists. He may not be scoring, but he provides a lot of action inside. 
the intensity, the aggressiveness in getting those loose balls and rebounds. Well, definitely, that's really something they need in the absence of uh, Alan Liwag, uh, but also Josh Kahuko already with nine points in the ball game, together with uh, the 11 points of Michael Mara leading their team in scoring. And the uh, Blazers cutting down the lead to 12, 70-58, plenty of time remaining in this game. The winner will advance to the semis, right? And we will wait for the result of the Kazon versus the Kalaokan game. That will happen on Monday here also. My guess. Joshua Kahuko takes care of it. Mark Sanko. Kahuko. Michael Mara providing the screen. Inside we go. Intercepted by AC. Wamar. We're definitely gonna wait it out here. Use some a bit of clock. Taiwan. Zach Wong takes care of it. He kicks it out. AC. Outside Marquez. No. Another rebound for Zaki Wong. He is fouled from behind. Zaki Wong able to get some extra possessions here for San Juan. Well, Zaki Wong only two points. But he has uh, five rebounds already now. The last two coming off uh, that offensive possession as uh, SGA really cannot afford to, you know, to give up possessions like that as uh, they're trying to come back from a 12-point lead with six and a half remaining in the game. Zaki Wong creating space. Beautiful fake, beautiful finish by the Cebuano. Zaki Wong with his second field goal of the game. See right there, using that pick against the lefty Mark Sanko, able to finish, showing a lot of patience. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton. Healthy and pure, official hydration partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming. Prepare for battle, your healthy life, Japanese style clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. And Noy is singing again. That's the crowd inside the uh, Phil Oil Eco Oil Center here, the Super 8. Next week uh, will be the start of the semis. We are glad you can join us. Thank you very much for supporting the Filipina Super League. My name is Andy Grumo with Noi Africa. You know, usually the home games uh, have been very well attended yeah. here in the PSL, especially here at the San Juan Arena. Uh, sorry, the Pilo Oil Echo Oil Center. <laughs> You're mentioning a name that... Uh, that that's a different... Uh, the home court... Uh, San Juan uh, team uh, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. But it actually still is there. Yeah. We play there uh, last year. Oh, inside we go to Zach. My guess for three. Short. Kahuko takes care of it. Ian Torres. We are halfway through this fourth quarter. Ian, bounce pass to Mark, and yes, two points for Mark Sanko. And Sanko with six points, two rebounds, and six assists. Very good uh, penetration right there for Ian Torres, creating some space there for Mark Sanko. That will be the fourth assist of Mark uh, Ian Torres. Taiwan. Ancheta trying to get that basketball. Dex, Mike Kiss. Wang is fouled by Michael Mara. You like how Mike is just uh, taking that you know, ball away. The Blazers away. not backing, backing down on defense. 
You know, they love the physical physicality here. And as I said, moving forward, you know, this is just an experience that will really benefit them as you see Michael yeah. Mara uh, inflicting some hurt on uh, Zaki Wang. Zach Wang started playing basketball at the uh, Sacred Art School, Ateneo de Cebu. Won some championships there as we take a look at the numbers of Zaki Wang. Averaging six points and close to four rebounds per game. Usually, you know, those are pedestrian numbers, but they have like maybe five or six players averaging the same. If you add them all up, you know, it's really a very significant bench contribution for San Juan. Paul stays with the Blazers. The younger CS is there. I see him standing right now. The assistant coach of the uh, San Juan Kings go for gold. Torres throws it in. Saved by Jamel Acheta. Michael Mala with a seductive fake. Basketball count plus a foul. He did get Mikez jumping on that fake. And uh, just a great find right there. I think Mara was open right there for like two to three seconds until Eusebio did find him. So another opportunity for Mara uh, to cut down the lead. Already with 13 points to lead the way for SGA. The San Juan Kings go for gold, led by as many as 22 points. Now the uh, Blazers coming back. Cutting down the lead to 10 points with plenty of time remaining. Wamar, Wang, Soberano, Maikes, and Miranda. AC using the glass, rebounded by Michael Mara. Better defensive effort right now for SJ making some stops. Intercepted. And the steal is complete. Miranda goes hard. Zaki Wang overshoots. And Dex Maikes taking care of business. Some uh, key baskets here for <laughs> Maikes. Two offensive rebounds on that play. Eight points and six rebounds for Dexter Maikes. And the lead swells to 12. Anton. Miranda, the rebound. In time, slowly, not a friend of uh, SGA. 3 and 50 remaining, still a 12 point lead. Orlan Wamar. Seven to fire inside Zaki Wong with a reverse and the pass there by Orlan Wamar. A dizzying display of uh, basketball wizardry right so there. They played against each other back in high school in Cebu. Second chance points is expectedly going the way of San Juan, 15 to 4. Ian Torres puts the move, shot clock at 4. 3 if it goes in, it does not. Foul is cold on Dex Maikes. Much to his disbelief. Next, my guess there. Gav Cometa will throw it in. Antonio Sebio. And Cheta. Kahuko with four to spare. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> Joshua Kahukom and Michael Mara just really continuing to battle for the SGA Blazers. Lead down to just 11. Two minutes and 45 to go. Zaki Wong playing big here in the fourth quarter. A win here by the Kings will eliminate the Blazers. And Eusebio blocked the shot of AC Soberano. AC is number one in three-point shooting here. 55% shooting. I have to make one, only two points in this game. Inside to Zaki Wong. He is fouled. You know, AC was there at the corner asking for the ball, but, you know, Dex Mike has decided to give that ball to Zaki Wong. 
downstairs. Zaki Wang will go to the line again. Well, Zach Wang got great position, and that's why Dexter, my kids, with a good decision of uh, giving him the basketball, he's been very successful so far. Already with eight points and six rebounds for San Juan. Two minutes and 30 to go. Here in the Super 8. The San Juan Kings, because they are number two, enjoying the twice to beat advantage. And so far, so good. They are ahead here. Jamel Ancheta loses control. That's going to be turnover number 17 for SGA. A win here by the Kings. We'll send them to the semis and wait for the result of the Kalaok and Quezon game. That will happen on Monday. Mike Kez pulling the trigger from the top of the key. And Hope. shot of the rebound. Hope springs eternal for the Blazers. That's a movie starring Scarlett Johnson back in the day. Final two minutes. Kahuko is fouled. Yeah, that was the movie that starred Scarlett. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> but you see Joshua Kahuko back on the floor. Really just great aggressiveness. You know, when the usual suspects uh, not really producing, you've got Ian Torres and uh, Cometa struggling from the field. Ari Liwag not playing. Yeah, that's right. And you see guys like Kahuko and uh, Michael Mara just stepping up for SGA. Interestingly enough, um, their coach in high school was uh, the coach is the coach of the Davao Occidental Tigers, Mano Mano Indigo, Indigo. who extend you know who forced that rubber match against Nueva Ecija with a victory earlier. Josh was scoring at the free throw line, cutting down the lead to 11. Final two minutes of the game. Orlan Wamar inside to Zach Wang. He hangs in the air. He has and been, he will score. He's been the favorite recipient of uh, his teammates just continuing to move off the basketball. Zaki Wang. Zaki Wang exploding here in the fourth quarter, scoring 11 points and six rebounds. Hold the right back. The BSL President's Cup 2024 ah. is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure. Official hydration partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming. Prepare for battle. Your healthy life. Japanese style clinic. Erase Beauty Care. Isla Capsule. Marketing partner, Bean Leaf. Media partners, Fiber TV. Blast TV. Live at IBC 13. PSL, uh, oh, uh, PSL Beauty is here inside the field on Equal Center in San Juan. Zaki Wang exploding here in the fourth quarter, Noy. 11.6 rebounds, very efficient. Four out of six from the field. You know, just really continuing to move without the basketball, and his teammates have been finding him wide open underneath. A minute 38 remaining. And uh, the Blazers, if they will lose this game, they will have an early vacation. San Juan will move on to the semis and will wait for the Kalookan versus the uh, the result of the Kalookan versus uh, Quezon game. It will happen on Monday. Kahukom picked up by Eusebio. Shot clock at four. Jomel puts the move. He creates space. He is fouled by Orlan Lamar. That will be his third personal foul. Good night there. Ancheta was trying to create some space, but, you know, the physicality of uh, Lamar not being allowed to be pushed actually caused that foul as 
uh, Ancheta was able to jump into him on that jump shot. Well, going back to that Kalookan Quezon matchup, Kalookan will be enjoying the twice to beat advantage. By over virtue Quezon. of them defeating the uh, Quezon uh, Titans during the elimination, the last day of the elimination yeah. round. And of course, with uh, seemingly impending victory for San Juan, they will be the first team to make it to the semifinals yeah. as Nueva Ecija uh, was forced to a rubber match by Davao. Uh, with a victory earlier. Another do-or-die game that will be on Monday. So our boss, Bong Baribar, will, he was supposed to fly to uh, uh, Davao tomorrow, but he will rebook his flight and change it to Wednesday. <laughs> and Holy Week will definitely start later yeah. for us. Here well, the the Holy Week will start on, on Sunday. It's But for us, it starts on Tuesday, or, uh, on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Hess. Aji Miranda scoring. So, you know, uh, despite SGA, you know, they did join the tournament very late. They, I think they started in 2024 already. Uh, they made, they made themselves very competitive against the much uh, older and more experienced players here in the PSL. Antonio Sabio scoring from beyond the arc, his first here in the fourth quarter. 34 seconds to go. And you know, someone will just waste away the clock here as Victoria will get a steal. Fouled hard by Dex Maikes with 24 seconds to go. And whenever I, I see don't know what is in my what uh, what's in his mind. It was a hard foul given up by Dex Maikes. Whenever I see Nathan Victoria play for SGA, eventually I see him on the floor. That's just how hard he plays. Well, Dex Maikes saying it was he was after the ball, but uh, Nathan was hit in the head because he was. But he's he, a very strong player. But he did get the basketball. It just so happened that he hit. Oh, on sports, my like follow me called on Dex Maikes. He was sit down. I think there's a bit of uh, bleeding. But he says he's fine. So Thumbs up, and uh, Nathan will go to the free throw line. You know, if you look at his, his physique, he's not really, you know, he doesn't look very strong, but he's been <laughs> able to take the hits here in the PSL. Yeah. Just very active. He can take the hardest hit here mm -hmm. in the PSL. And when you take a hit from a guy like Dexter, my guess, you yeah. definitely know how to take those hard hits. So it's going to be uh, San Juan leading here. And the uh, Blazers will take the possession. It could be the final possession. We still have 24 seconds remaining. Uh, Monday, the action will continue here. Cometa. Eusebio. Yes, that's his second. <laughs> that's just a six Binyan point. Binyan will also play against one Munti on Monday. <laughs> and that's just yeah. a six point lead. But it uh, looks like SJ will just run out of time. So the schedule on Monday will be one, uh, one Munti versus Binyan, the number one team versus the number eight team. Uh, one Munti defeated. Novaliches. Manila, yeah, Manila City Stars. And. Oh no, it's San Pedro Pablo Escobet. Yeah. yeah. That was an eight versus nine, nine yeah. matchup. Oh, I love the gu guessing game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Thank you very much, Derek. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so San Juan will, looks like, will advance to the next round and uh, will wait for the winner of. Was it the Davao versus Nueva Ecija? Yeah. 
They will face the winner of the Davao versus Nueva Ecija rubber match. Six seconds to go. Timeout is called by the BSL yeah, President's Cup 2024 CSP, is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. Orlan Wamar on your screen. Well, he started. Uh, he was on fire back in the first uh, period, scoring 11 straight points for the San Juan Kings go for gold. 85 to 77 with 6.7 remo uh, remaining in this game. And that 27-15 advantage that they have at the end of the first quarter was pretty much the cushion that they used here. So those 11 first quarter points, I believe, was really the catalyst for this victory here for San Juan coming from Orlan Omar. So the San Juan Kings go for gold. Will will be the first team to go to the semis defeating the uh, SGA CSB Blazers. Our Dumper Super move of the game, Zaki Wong, scoring there, uh, scoring big time in the fourth quarter. Another angle here. 11.6 rebounds. And our Topcock defensive play of the game, sponsored by Topcock, prepare for battle. Here's the block of Mikey Malonzo and the shot of Jamel Ancheta. Topcock defensive play of the game brought to us by Topcock. Prepare for battle. Our final score, 85-77. Our Kalos super player of the game, by the way, is the player from uh, Talisay City, Orlan Omar, 16 points, 5 out of 9 from the field. And five assists. And uh, really that first quarter explosion was uh, all uh, someone needed. And coming out aggressively against the younger SJA squad uh, just really started everything for San Juan. And they will move on to the semifinals. Yes, sir. we will be having the press conference of our best player of the game. And, of course, the head coach, the winning coach. And, yes, thank you to our courtside reporter, uh, Daniel LaGuardia, my partner here. Noi Africa, our director, Nori Uy, and thank you also to Nudge Productions. My name is Sandy Grumo from the Philo and Eco Center in San Juan. Mayong gabi, ikan inyong tanan.
Welcome to our post-game interview and we have here from the winning team of San Juan, Orlan Womar. Uh, Orlan, unang-una gusto ko lang i-ask yung thoughts mo sa game. Uh, what were the things uh, that San Juan did this, uh, this time? Siguro uh, we, we start uh, strong, uh, we finish stronger. Uh, uh, credit na rin sa coaching staff namin kasi uh, di nagpabaya sa uh, two days. Parang ni-ready kami na kung sino makakalaban. Tapos no Friday, uh, nga, nalaman namin na sa SB. So, uh, yung scouting namin. Uh, tapos one day, kailangan namin padubigay uh, para makuha na agad. Okay. Uh, na nabanggit mo yung scouting, no? Mukhang napag-aralan mo mismo, ikaw rin mismo, dahil ikaw yung nagtitimon sa team, no? Napag-aralan mo rin yung St. Benil, no? Kaya ang ginagawa, ginagawa ninyo, binibigay nyo lalo yung bola sa ilalim, no? Kaya naman 52 of 32 yung uh, yung advantage nyo sa points inside the paint. Was that really the game plan? Uh, Hi, Sam. <laughs> Tinan lang namin kung saan kami may advantage, kaya toro din ni Coach Sam. Advantage, bigay na agad. Uh, kaya yung result. Okay, right. So, uh, welcome, uh, Senator, and congratulations po. Your uh, team is advancing, the first team to advance in the semifinal round. What can you say, sir? Well, of course, I feel very elated and happy at uh, nagawa ng aking mga players yung dapat gawin. At sabi ko naman, eh, dapat uh, lumaban na tayo sa finals. Okay. Sen, now the, your ultimate prize, your ultimate prize, it's either Nueva Ecija or Davao Occidental. So this is going to be a tough one. Yes, Excited I, about I'm, it? I'm eager to watch the game between, uh, rematch between Davao and uh, Nueva Ecija this coming uh, Monday or, yeah, Monday. And I'm going to, I'm going to await the results of uh, uh, the game between Nueva Ecija and uh, Davao. Okay, so... Uh, I'm sure panoonoorin niya yan na uh, Sen, no? itong uh, labanan ng Nueva Ecija in Davao at ngayon pa lang pag-aaralan niya na. E so right now ba nakikita niya yung sarili niyo na may bentahe knowing na mas makakapagpahinga kayo? Yes, uh, makakapagpahinga kami ng mga sanlingkot kalahati. And then, uh, pero during that uh, vacation, kailangan pa rin mag-practice kahit Holy Week. Okay. Kasi syempre, mabigat din yung magiging kalaban namin. Okay, Orlan, ikaw, papaano ka maghahanda rito either, sa, either Nueva Ecija or Davao parehas mabigat? Uh, siguro kung ano yung preparation namin sa elimination, dodoblehin namin siguro. Okay. Sen, baka may gusto kayong pasalamatan, yung mga taga San Juan, di ba gusto yung pasalamatan? Well, maraming maraming salamat uh, sa lahat ng mga sumusuporta sa San Juan Kings. Uh, hindi lamang San Juan Kings, kundi sa buong... Uh, Liga ng uh, Pilipinas Super League. Sana huwag po kayo magsawa na suportahan ang, uh, ang, uh, San, Juan, uh, ang San Juan Kings, lalong-lalo na yung buong liga ng uh, Pilipinas Super League at lahat ng mga liga ng basketball. Okay, so that wraps up our post-game interview. Congratulations, Senator, and congratulations, uh, Orlan. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you, Sen. Sen, congratulations. Sipat puso ang kagamitan Bola sa basket, tipay ng mindset Ang napili na paliksahan Magtatagisan, pagpapawisan Sa pagalingan, papatunayan Kahit paminsan, maagawan Di titigilan na mabawian Mahihirapan man, may sisigaw na Kaya mo yan, kaya lalaban lang Mas lalo mo pang gagalingan Kahit pa malihado, di pa rin payag na matalo Aabutin yung ring para yung tira Pasok sigurado, ano man ang magyari Lokal ka man